today a brief look at one of the many advantages of the VMware vSphere 6.5 HTML5 based vSphere client interface that you're looking at. This is a Chrome session. The URL bar has been removed by making a shortcut in Chrome. And here we have vSphere web client, the older client that VMware has announced in August of 2017 is going away. So I want you to see a nice little side effect of some perks that come with going to HTML5. So side effect, perk, whatever you want to call it, it's an advantage to moving away from Adobe Flash to the HTML5 user interface. And that has to do with storage of emotion. So let me show you. Let's say we've got this drive here on this host. So I've got the uh, CPU type, part of the host name there in the first four digits. I've got the capacity, technology, the drive, whatever. Uh, it's in my top, it's in my PCI slot. And I need to use that PCI slot for a different device that I'm testing. So I need to evacuate the VMs on it. So you highlight the storage tab, you highlight the data store in, that you're trying to evacuate, and you click on the VMs tab. And you can drag and drop to a data store that has more room, like this drive. Okay, it pops this up and it makes us navigate, which is a little weird because we just told it through a drag and drop what we want to do, but it kind of ignored us. Third or fourth click, another click, and another click, and then finally the finish screen. So I'm going to cancel that and show you how much easier it is with the vSphere client. Let's do the same drag and drop operation. This time, change storage only comes up and it's already selected the proper target. All I have to do is click Next and Finish. So that's it. Oh, how can I resist slipping in a bonus perk to being on the vSphere client? See how it dynamically updated. I never clicked Refresh. If we go over here to the vSphere client, oh, it still shows that VM is there. I have to manually click here and then it disappears. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting Tinkertry.com.